Uh, good morning. It's, uh, it gives me pleasure to be here on behalf of uh, the EQ Magnet, SuyaCon. So, yeah, I welcome all of you to this conference. I should organize, I should thank Anand Guptaji for organizing this conference Pan India. And Bombay and Delhi are probably the focus areas for them. Well, today's topic is the future of the renewables, 100 gigawatt. Let me tell you, my opinion and uh, my vision is that this 100 gigawatt will definitely happen. Why I'm saying this is, today, as of today, we are at 20 gigawatt. We already co commissioned 20 gigawatt as of today. And the government has definite plans. Shall I put this on? Yeah, the government has uh, definite plans of 30 gigawatt tendering for the next two years. So it is six, 30 plus 30 plus 20, 80 gigawatt is definitely going to happen. There's only one caveat that Modi government should get elected again in 2019. If that happens, I'm sure that we will be able to achieve not 80, even 100. If a new government comes and if it's as bad as the Trump administration, we don't know what is going to happen. What will be the negative? <laughs> but with the Modi government in power, 100% we will achieve 100 gigawatt. Now, I have some radical views on what is happening in the solar sector. First of all, I would say that the reverse bidding mechanism that the government is adopting probably takes more time to tender a project than execute the project. And at the end of the day, the prices that you are arriving at are numbers that only probably a few in the world can afford. And whether they are going to make money out of the transaction or they're just going to build capacity. We're not sure what is, what, is the, what is the reason why they bid so low. So government has to do a rethinking, definitely a rethinking on these long procedures for getting, what is really important today is you must get projects on ground. They should start happening much faster pace than what is happening today. You'll be surprised that China probably adds more than 60 gigawatts every year of solar power. And we are happy adding 10. We need not go to 60, but I'm sure we can do better than 10. Some of the bottlenecks should be removed from the system. That is what is very important for us to achieve our target. But even the way the government is going today, I'm sure we'll reach 100 gigawatt by the time by 2022, because we have close to five years, a little less than five years, four years and nine months to achieve this target. One, one thought that comes to my mind, I'm sure everybody would be aware that the bullet train project that is going to happen from Bombay to Ahmedabad, it's a 1,10,000 crore project. There was no bidding in it. And the government has been able to see through it, see, see that this project happens. Probably similar, similar examples can happen in renewable energy. Why, if somebody comes with money, allow him to put up the plant. They have no restrictions on him. Let him put up the plant, let it be a 100 megawatt plus, as long as it does not destabilize the grid. Only the, the control factors that government should have is, the grid should not become, there, are, there is also one more way that we can achieve the 100 gigawatt. India has 6,50,000 villages. You select 100,000 of them or 200,000 of them and install one megawatt or half a megawatt and feed to the grid. Land is not an issue at all in any of the villages. So we should be able to achieve our target of 100,000 megawatts. I'm sure we can go much beyond 100,000, maybe 200,000 and much more. Look, because even when you're generating 100,000 megawatts, it's actually effectively only 20,000 megawatts of conventional power. Because any solar plant has a PLF of between 18 to 20 percent. I have been regularly attending conferences on the gift city that is happening at uh, Gujarat. It is a 
It is the Gujarat International Financial and Technology City. The all so the, the, the Japanese and the Koreans who used to come to these conferences, they would always say, where is the beef? Where is the, where is the drink? How can we come to Gift City? Once we have signed the MOU for the bullet train project, all those inhibitions are gone. Today they come down, they want to see what business they can do. They say beef and drinks can wait. We can find it in other places. Let me go to Gift City and see how we can transact business. So it's how the government gives you an opening. That is very important. And this is one classic example when that MOU was signed between India and Japan. There's all these Japanese and Koreans had no inhibitions now coming to India. They come, they want to see what business they can grab. On the downside, we should, we should know that creating 100,000 megawatts is not an issue. The real issue is how do you synchronize this with the grid? That's a very big challenge. And second, how do you give the projects that are happening a must-run status? If solar projects do not have the must-run status, they would not be able to survive. Because they are already running at 17, 18 PLF, 17 to 18 percent PLF. So they have to, they have to be connected to the grid. And biggest challenge in India is probably the load, the overall demand is going down, and also the night load is very low. Even today, you can get you can get power at a, at about one rupee ten paise from the grid, even in a city like Bombay, and there are no takers. So what do we do? How do we give them a must run status? <laughs> With this, I will uh, conclude my opening remarks. I will just give a few lines about Eastern Power. We primarily bring foreign investors to India. That is our main activity. We also finance renewable energy projects. Sky Power is our, one of our clients. We also arrange complete funding for smart cities and smart villages, both. That is also one of the areas we look into. Now I would request each of the panelists to give their opening remarks and uh, then we will get into the question and answer. Sir? <coughs> Namaskar. Good morning to all of you. It gives me a Great pleasure to be here on this uh, event with the EQ International Solar Tech Conference. This is not a first thing for me, first time for me. I'm very often uh, participating in these programs like EQ. I'm heading the Indian Solar Association as well as the Rasi Group of Companies headquartered in Bangalore. And we are in the verticals of uh, solar energy as well as IT, and we are into the entering into the manufacturing of the lithium ion battery production and uh, we are going for the Prime Minister Avaj Yojana scheme, all headquartered from Bangalore. By the way, they introduced me as ex-member of parliament. People think that, okay, parliament, ex-member of parliament means that they might have made a lot of money in politics. It's not like that. We are working hard. We have a concept, uh, Mr. Anand knows that uh, we work hard and make money in business and spend in politics. For example, one event I would like to quote you here. In my earlier days when I contested in Lok Sabha elections, I won with two and a half lakhs highest margin of Tamil Nadu then. Some of my friends sitting here, they know that. Defeating the Madam Jailalita in the elections. This was my political record. This has come because we are all true and honest people recognize that we are in the, from the industry and business community and cleanly hardworking people. Right or wrong, after several years, we could see that a sign of light has come from Modi ji, who is heading now as a global leader for, as an Indian Prime Minister. When he entered in the national level politics, all we merged ourselves and surrendered ourselves from Congress party to BJP long back. Hoping that this is the only party and he is the only leader going to do the development and growth of this country to the sky level. All you know, we know very well, things are moving very fast. 
and uh, first of all our friend krishna sagar raised uh, one or two questions the tenure of the modi government uh, within the tenure uh, we should complete the target of 100 mega 100 gigawatts here i would like to say sir uh, this government headed by modi ji will continue even after the next general elections also don't worry definitely we will reach the 100 100 plus gigawatt or whatever 200 gigawatt people mandate is going to support modi ji it is because of not only for politics the way of the working culture hard working culture today what is what we are seeing in the country and uh, he was talking about the reverse bid yes many of the people uh, they are gained and they are lost also in the reverse bid in the recent past the cost calculation predicted by some of the corporates for costing the project ka at the module prices has not fallen down it has gone high in spite of china producing every year 70 gigawatt of the module capacity production is happening in china out of that 50 gigawatt this year they are going to start their own projects 20 gigawatt they are aiming to export either to india or uae or to africa wherever the solar projects are happening the only thing is the government is supporting left and right in china many of you might have visited china you know very well what they are doing how they are hand to hand supporting the solar projects and any other projects including the battery production lithium ion battery production also so today we are in mid of this uh, our government has <coughs> announced and we have to reach the 100 gigawatt target out of that 40 gigawatt exclusively for solar rooftops however we are happy to see that in spite of lot of hurdles in spite of lot of drawbacks in funding drawbacks in technology drawbacks in manufacturing sector importing of all the modules importing of all the cells india has achieved 20 gigawatts is very very remarkable and very highly recorded achievement in our map of course our map to reach 100 gigawatt definitely we are going to reach i don't know what is the total capacity installed from the maharashtra government but generally i know very well maharashtra is little bit behind in the target of re re reaching the solar goal yesterday also i was discussing with the industry secretary power secretary so many other people and some of the ministers i used to meet whenever i go i used to meet all the bureaucrats as well as the top level leaders because the decision making is coming from the ministers implementation coming from the bureaucrats so both has to be united to reach the target all industries we know very well at this juncture i would like to request all of you also to have some kind of access to politics or involve in politics i used to say always in the democratic system today what we are following in this country politics cannot be your main food at the same time politics can be like a salt and a, as a pickle at the leaf whenever you want you can touch whenever you want you can use it this is required for politics in the recent past uh, on sunday 11th we had the international solar alliance inviting about 23 top level leaders and 30 plus uh, other leaders totally 60 people they participated from abroad and really hundreds of our ambassadors embassy people they attended in the hall of rashtrapati bhavan culture center it was packed with uh, 600 people with all the top levels of the globe other than china and people from us the vision of international solar alliance forming is most important whichever whatever we have the natural asset got given 300 days sunny days has to be exploited that's why modi ji decided to head as international solar alliance that is his brain child and that is the pet baby for him which he wants to make it in a group uh, very fast and we had a center there in nice to set up this after two years over we had a founding day ceremony and come conference every of the country developed country under developed country and even the countries which are below the down uh, developed countries also has taken part including lot of african countries south american countries european countries everybody neighboring our country like uh, bangladesh sri lanka everybody participated in the scene in the tv the whole idea to set up this we should have a common interest we should have a common funding we should have a common technology support we should have the partners across the globe to strengthen both for the mutual benefits of india and as well as for the neighboring and participating countries when we talk about global global level development we should talk about our indian development also yes there are some plus and minus there are some setback there are some positive things in the solar energy for the past 6 7 years we are watching it we are involving it for example even our tamil nadu also today we are reaching about uh, 2 gigawatt in the solar energy there were a lot of doldrums before certain period now after joining with the uday scheme many of the discoms are coming as a positive in making the payments and meeting the requirements of the solar bidders of course the reverse bid has uh, brought down for 2.44 in the solar energy segment thinking that solar modules will come down not happen now 
it may happen sometimes today the solar module price everybody knows in india and abroad it is 35 plus 38 plus 33 plus it is coming down further i had a interaction with a lot of international companies from china korea malaysia and all we hope that during the second quarter or third quarter definitely the price will fall down the commitment whatever the corporates the big companies given to the government including sb energy including a lot of uh, big player definitely they will honor the commitment they will go for this tariff but of course when we talk about this tariff when we talk about the reverse bid when we talk about the low cost uh, tariff we should be aware of the low cost funding which is not available in india which the government is aggressively working in the recent past in the isa conference uh, there was a, there were some bankers like adb even uh, world bank even european investment bank even ndb a new bank and some of the other african banks also here also i invited one of the african bank to come here to meet us by afternoon it is called first rand bank from africa like that many of the banks many of the institutions uh, and uh, clean energy fund all these people they have taken part in delhi in isa the whole idea is to support how to access the low cost funding india today we don't have the low cost funding all our indian banks commercial banks private banks they are operating at the higher rate of interest which is not suitable for the solar projects when we commit for the low tariff so from the indian solar association we are fighting for two three important issues number one is to avoid this anti dumping number two is to avoid the safeguard duty number three is to kindly make it clarification on the customs duty for the import of modules there should not be any hurdles recently 4000 containers were been held up in all the ports this is not a good sign for the industry we represented and there again we are asking the clarification in gst whether it's a 0% 5% you must you must clarify it and put it definitely we are talking with various our casing minister every of the body which is involved mnr is key and everybody we are keep on discussing to streamline and finalize there should be some kind of stipulated permanently what is the tariff and what is sorry what is the custom duty what is the gst this has to be defined immediately this has created uh, for the past 3 to 4 months when announcement has come for safeguard duty every of the countries uh, exporters like china and all they have been alert and uh, instead of uh, we are asking them they immediately they raise the prices saying that their policy like on prices has gone high so they are increase the module prices today it is on a change way after all the government has stopped talking on all these issues so it is making some clearances it is creating reconfidence among the developers and investors across the globe to support for indian projects in the recent isa delhi nobody raised their voice about anything on the safeguard duty or the anti dumping because some interested verticals from the government side and the private sector they created this issue now we said that whatever it is happening you should control it you should make it amicably settled there cannot be any penalization on after the tenders are rolled out after the pps are signed this is one side we got a success everybody knows that immediately there is no any threat on imposing on safeguard duty or the anti dumping you can take it as assurance from the association from the ministry so people those who committed the solar project whatever the tariff they can go without any threats even people like lanji i i believe somebody has come from lanji or they are going to come these people are number one quality manufacturer they achieved the efficiency 23.6 under cells which is very very remarkable development this company is uh, yeah, already committed they are going to start a 1 gigawatt cell and module production why i want to say is when you talk about the demand indian requirement is about 20 gigawatt demand of modules every year what is the production capacity we have a, not even 1/4 of that the installed proper capacity and the qualities has to be strengthened manufacturing technology has to be strengthened for the manufacturer in india we had a wonderful meeting with the, both the manufacturers and as well as the developers all our indian companies so we said that because of your development because of you you want some incentives and you cannot uh, spoil the developers or you cannot damage the developers so we held very balanced way we asked the government to find out a solution so manufacturers also to be supported with the low cost funding with the reduction on the cost of the import duty and the involvement of the technology where our government is not so for showing much interest whether r and d or technology development our government is not fully involved a lot of various technologies available which are challengeable to the chinese technologies we can bring it to the country now only we are trying to focus on the lot of central of excellencies lot of knowledge based centers we have to create for this module technology and cell technology whether a polysilicon or a kind of ingot or wafer we should involve ourselves we cannot live under the mercy of chinese or korea we know very well but at the same time at the cost of this the developer those who are already in the 
development cannot be penalized or damaged. This one the stand the international, sorry, our Indian Solar Association has taken. So I would always request the government to consider for the special institution funding, for funding, either a bank or some other institution. Our today demand is with the government and the financial institution, including the finance minister and all the banks. Renewable energy, particularly the solar, has to be funded with a free flow below 7% rate of interest for INR. And we are asking the government to create a hedge funding. Suppose if we are accessible, if the banks are accessible for any foreign currency loan, the hedging cost is a question. So 50% of the hedging cost to be shared with the government of India to be created through this hedge funding. The Whatever the funds so far up reached by, uh, achieved by the government for the CIS on the clean technology from other developers, from coal mining, other, other people or fossil fuel companies has not been infused in the solar technology or not been infused in the solar project. So we are asking government, you divert such funds for the development of R&D, divert <coughs> such funds for creating of the center of excellences. So this is all one side is happening. The other side, still we are in a very greeny picture into solar. I would like to request all of you, whether you are having an existing project or participating in the next bid or going to come in the near future, definitely there is a good feature and there is a good support from the government of India, no doubt. Modi ji is going to form the next government also, there is no threat. Even whichever the government comes also, they cannot go back from the roadmap of the solar because we are the leaders in that. So by keeping all these in your mind, today 100 gigawatt, 40 gigawatt of the rooftop, 2020, 20, 40 gigawatt of the parts government is planning to create, already 20 gigawatt parts has been created. So all these things are going to support for the solar energy. We see that what is happening for low cost funding and as well as the uniformity in the PPS, we are asking the government to come for a uniform policy for the solar PPS and the solar tariff according to the radiation available. And the uniform PPA throughout the government, throughout the country, taking the federalism into consideration and take the support of the existing discounts and convert into profit making, then only the global investor will come to invest here. Otherwise, each and every state policy is something, something talking on LC, something talking on uh, escrow, something talking on a deferred payment, something one year payment is spending like that. It is going to create a lot of confusion among the people, those who wants to come here from the global investor. This is what in our mind. We know what are the problems, renegotiation of the PPA should not happen. Once again, it should not uh, create any kind of doubts among the investors. This is what the people are looking on in India. So now it is a very significant, uh, remarkable program what we had in the recent past. These are sent the signals across the globe that India is heading, India is uh, going ahead and it is going to support all the developing and underdeveloping countries also for funding. Mutually created some thousand billion they are aiming and thousand gigawatt they are aiming across the countries uh, under the International Solar Alliance. We should be playing a major role after all creating 100 gigawatt in our country. All you should be the stakeholders for this kind of uh, projects. And I used to say in all my people, those who meet me, you are having a pension scheme after retirement or something for your family, for your kind of uh, future, better to invest into solar at least going to have about 25 years uh, a yeah, assured repayment from the government side. This is to be created the awareness and all we should work together for reaching this goal and uh, once again I would like to thank our UK International. They are the people playing a major role. We have a government agencies, we have the private sector. Who has to bridge? People like Media, UK International, they are playing a major role in this country for the seven years. You see that every of the important message, important news across the globe First is flashed in the EQ International. I am not praising you. He is not my relative or something. I am telling the truth. There are other magazines like PV Tech or anything. They are very slow. It is our Indian origin magazine which is exclusively supporting for the renewable energy. I am regularly going for that. And we have to support these hands. We have to support them. Thinking that uh, only they are uh, going for a small few conference and all. No. By making these small events like these 50 hundreds, I request them to go for an annual conference in the short span of time where I assure I will get the support from the government also. So far the government is thinking that EQ International is only a magazine publisher. So I want to involve them as a part of the government, as a media partner.
for the future in all the government projects i will work for that ms anand gupta i support you for all your efforts taking and last meeting i was telling about the technology ingli has announced a 12 bus bar immediately these people are flashing it today lanji 23.6 efficiency record immediately it is flashed even any drawbacks also they are immediately flashing so such kind of awareness such kind of importance knowledge infusing the knowledge among the developers among the people involved in the manufacturing is needed need of the hour so many of the people like us also we go through every day what is what you say in the morning what you say in the evening if we miss we are seeing at the weekend day what is the whole week this most important for any project developer any any and this list i was participating in various financial institutions in tamil nadu and i was uh, involved in sidbi molding of sidbi also we happened to be the working capital assessment committee members also these are all happened be before going to parliament i was representing the parliament in the committee of finance railways and as well as defense so we know what our country is doing what we are going ahead where we are going ahead however uh, uh, surrounding countries are supporting today india it is not only us not only uh, russia every country is uh, targeting to support on india on technology development so we must use this all the facilities and uh, lastly one point i want to mention uh, yesterday we had a wonderful discussion with uh, new india insurance company for the past two years uh, isa is working with a lot of insurance companies to give a coverage for solar developers solar projects for the concept of generation guarantee out of 300 days any days goes beyond our control because of the natural calamities or any kind of drawbacks it has to be covered with the insurance scheme all these companies like pacc cpic from china they are not supporting of course we brought now minicree sisri all other companies uh, they are supporting this uh, concept as a reinsurance company we worked out a model now irda has uh, approved this already private uh, insurance companies like hdfc they uh, they rolled out this to strengthen more and more our psu companies are coming forward we are going to launch this new insurance scheme shortly in delhi where eq will be as a media partner for this program also i am announcing this year is going to happen you wait for another 15 days to 30 days it will be more attractive to create the confidence for the solar power developers any kind of drawbacks any kind of setbacks happen after the generation it has to be covered by the insurance companies today we have the coverage only for performance of the equipments performance of the epcs we don't have this coverage already western countries are having china is having so we want to introduce we want to bring this insurance coverage let us go ahead let us see that solarizing is happening throughout the country as pan india level pump sets we are talking schools we are talking malls we are talking all these required the solar power generation uh, we need a mega scale manufacturing i had a discussion yesterday with the industries department of maharashtra how to bring the integrated solar fab in maharashtra they say sir incentives uh, we have only 10000 crores investment they have got some kind of 20% investment they don't have for other incentives from government of india to go for mcs now we are working another method to come out from the mcs clutches all we know that uh, including any big companies from uh, the, from the period of moser bear they could not be approved for getting the incentives of mcs it has become a dead asset for us so we are restructuring and re modifying it what we recently insisting the ministry of finance and renewable energy we don't want to see that two ministers are involved in getting the granting the subsidy or the incentives to mnri is is mnri so mnri should uh, give the subsidy for us for industries development i cannot go to the it ministry or i cannot go to the how uh, hr ministry to get the subsidy or the incentives like that uh, renewable energy should be supported from the mnri we are working on that now some of the scientists are involved in developing the technology andre manari so energy storage is going to take place ev is going to take place all you are welcome to invest into solar invest into battery technology i am not asking you to go for the car manufacturing or the bus manufacturing already big players are there the cell technology assembling technology for the solar sorry for the lithium batteries are available and you can take part on that every of the developer has to be recognized with their privilege and prestige i believe eq also will play a major role in all these segments all my other the developers all my other friends sitting on the dais hopefully they may agree of whatever the suggestion i have given and we look for a unified support from everyone there was a demand from 
solar power developers on the rooftop before I was entering the conference room. They say that the ignorance is there. They are not giving importance for Mevanari for the rooftop developers. There is no any priority for giving them. My dear friends, I will assure you, next week when I met R.K. Singh or Mevanari Secretary Anand Kumar, we will request them to allocate a separate officer under MNRE, either the level of Joint Secretary or Under Secretary, to support and to give importance for the small rooftop players also under MNRE scheme. With this, let me conclude the dialogues. Any kind of uh, debate, any kind of uh, whatever the re uh, request from your side, we are ready to always support you and help you. With this, let me conclude the speech. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. So thank you, sir, for your elaborate uh, enunciation of the entire solar picture, what is happening in the country.